Welcome to our lecture online. To help us get a better understanding of the notation that we use, we're going to evaluate a line integral with the same vector field three times. The first time, we're going to integrate the vector field f with dt, the second time with dy, and the third time with dr. Now, dr, of course, is the derivative of the position vector r. And notice that we have the path defined with the parametric equations x equals at, y equals a over t, and z equals b, with a and b being constants, and t being evaluated from 1 to 2. So this is the path defined in, with the parametric equations, and here's the vector field f. Now we're going to do it three times. In this video, we're going to first do this evaluations, then we're going to do this one, and then in the third video, we'll do that one. So the first one is as follows. The integral of the vector field times dt over the path indicated is going to be equal to the integral from 1 to 2, because we're going to have the variable t, of the vector field f, which is x, y squared in the i direction, plus 2 in the j direction, plus x in the k direction, the whole thing times dt. So notice there's no dot product there, it's simply the differential of the variable t over which we're integrating. So now we're going to plug in the values for x and y in terms of t. So this can now be written of, and of course I should write t equals 1 to t equals 2, so we have no confusion there. So x is a times t, and y is a over t, that becomes a squared divided by t squared. Oop, this is wet right here. Okay, and that's still times i plus 2 times j, and plus x, which is at, at in the k direction, and the whole thing times dt. So let's simplify this a little bit more, and this is a t squared right here. Okay, so this becomes uh, the integral from 1 to 2 of a cubed over t in the i direction, plus 2 in the j direction, plus a t in the k direction, and the whole thing times dt. And now we're ready to integrate. Now notice we still have our unit vectors in here because we didn't have a vector here, we didn't have a dot product. So this becomes equal to a cubed times a natural log of t evaluated from 1 to 2 in the i direction. And maybe I'll just leave this to the very end. I'll just write it at the very end. So this becomes plus 2t in the j direction, and this is plus 8t squared over 2 in the k direction, and the whole thing evaluated from 1 to 2. So when we plug in the upper limits, we get the following. We get, uh, let's see here, a cubed times the natural log of 2 minus the natural log of 1. Make that a little bit bigger. There we go. And that's in the i direction right here. So this is the first term evaluated the upper and the lower limit. The second term, so that would be plus 2 times the upper limit would be 2 minus the lower limit would be 1 in the j direction. And then finally, this one right here, that would be plus a over 2. Plug in the upper limit, we get 4. Minus, when we plug in the upper limit, lower limit, we get 1. And that's in the k direction. And then we simply have to uh, simplify this. Okay, the natural log of 1 is 0, so this becomes a cubed times the natural log of 2 in the i direction. This would be 2 minus 1 is 1 times 2, that gives me plus 2 in the j direction. And here we get 3, that would be plus 3 over 2a in the k direction. And this here then is the evaluation of our line integral when we have a dt there rather than a dr. And that's how that's done.